Hey, here is one other Google Form tip and just walking you through how to see student responses after you send them a Google Form. So this is uh, the Spiral ELA from Lucky Little Learners and so I have this in my Google Drive ready to go and how I'm going to share it with students is clicking this send button and then I'm going to just click on the link right here. You can shorten it if you, I always do that because it's easier. And then you're just going to copy this link and then you can paste that link in any online platform because to fill out a Google form, they don't have to sign into Google. So you can paste that link in Seesaw, you can paste it in Canvas, Class Dojo, whatever. So when students go to the link, then what they're going to get is this right here. And they're going to fill out um, this Google form. And then they're going to submit. Okay. Then now they can click here to view how they did and view their accuracy and see what they got right or wrong. And if you and obviously these open-ended questions, they aren't gonna see a right or wrong answer yet. You as a teacher can go in, and I'll show you that in a second. But what, um, you can change your settings too before you share it, if you want them to see the correct answers or not, okay? But now, you can see here, if I go back into my form, there's a response. So that student, that was me, um, did it. So you'll click on responses, and then you can see how they did. So you can see a summary of everyone in the class like this and how they did or you can go question by question so you want to see okay let's see first name you don't need to worry about those ones obviously and then question three, question four, question five and since there's only one response it's just showing the one but when you have more responses by question it's going to show you all the responses there. And then this is where you can also grade the ones that are open-ended like this one. So I'm going into that response and say like, great job, that was correct, right? And so then I can give them a point and I can say, you did it. And then just make sure you click save and then I can go back into my questions and see that one response was graded, okay? And you can just mark it as correct right there too. Or you can look at, whoops, always click save, or you can look at the individual student. So if you wanna go individual student, you can scroll through and see their individual scores right there. If you want to export the scores from something, it's really easy. You're just going to click this create spreadsheet and then it's going to create a new spreadsheet or you can add it to one if you already have a Google Sheet and you'll just click create and then it's going to make you a spreadsheet and it's going to add the score right here and then it's going to add their name and then their responses. So you can see for each question what they actually typed or what they actually selected and then also their score and then you can delete the columns you don't care about etc and then you can have all of this in your saved in your data collection all that good stuff use it for differentiation use it for interventions things like that and it's really quick and easy I only had to grade one question out of all of those questions and the scores are right there for me. So that's um, how you see student responses in Google Forms and look through them.